Hey YouTube, it's Connor here. My new video for my channel is actually going to be my coming out video. I came out as gay around 2013 and it was a figure skater from 1991. He was an openly gay figure skater and he was a pretty actually look, good looking guy, the whole abs and stuff, which I don't have, which I'm trying to. <laughs> and I really had him. I really had different feeling for some reason. I realized, really realized, probably around 2013, when I dated a guy for the first time. His name was Damien, and he cheated on me with a guy over Skype. And he is no longer in my life. And let's just say, he's very hideous. <laughs> I am absolutely, fully, 100% gay. I. I, I pronounce as gay. I am a very passionate gay man, and I realized it took my. I realized that it was hard for my family to accept it because I, I grew up with my mom being a very in a very Christian kind of household. My dad also being in a very like kind of like Christian Catholic kind of background. Probably four years to get over it. It was slowly, very slowly, because that's. In that generation my mom grew, grew from, it was very different. My dad on the other hand, I've never really had a dad figure in my life. I realized that it was he was not gonna accept it, which is understandable. We were from different places, because my dad's from the UK, my mom's from, from New York. But now let's talk about my past boyfriends I've had. I did four guys. Well, actually, second one girl because that was back when I was confused. I dated one girl. Her name was Maddie. Back in two thousand, probably seven, we, I back was very emo. An insert picture here, and I realized that I was kind of confused. And I was like, I see guys, girls, and guys go like, okay, let me try this out. It was had a lot of feelings for uh, for guys, and I finally came out to her and said, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gay. And she was like, okay, okay. And let's just say I haven't talked to her in over eight years. Now go on to the next boy, my first boyfriend. His name is Damien. I, I, I really had feelings for him. I really liked him. But then I went on Skype, is back with no FaceTime, no, it was like really early, like probably 2013, 12. Like we we're talking normal, like Google Gaga kind of stuff. I see another guy in his, in his bed and he had no clothes on. F you. And I was out of there. I literally got cheated on <laughs> Oprah Skype. And I went over to my next boyfriend was actually a guy that catfished me. I was dating this guy on, I think we met on Bumble, I think. And we were like kind of like going back and forth talking. He was a nice guy, but he had a chat with him. And we, and we were pretty like, I said, you were, I said, I really like you and everything. Video chat him, not the person, the photos. And that's pretty much where it goes from that one. <laughs> And then my third, my four, actually no, not third, fourth person I dated was a guy named Vance. I dated him on Tinder, and I've never dated a trans guy before, never. It's a, I've, I, I, I really like trans people. They're awesome. Like they're, like more power to you to actually fully do it, and they're the, they're born to what be what they are. Like. If you're a trans man, you are a man. If you're a trans woman, you're a woman. Like, that's pretty much it. I'm a person that's very hard to open up for a lot of things, for like dating wise. Went over to me, and he picked me up where I live in Connecticut, and my he lives in Massachusetts. I pick he picked me up in his car. That sounds really bad. <laughs> and we went back when we back went back to his place. Actually, just went back to his house and we played video games. And I think the funniest thing with him was it was a different feel from all the people I've dated. I actually, this is actually, might be 
TMI, but this is, he's actually the only person I've, I've kissed in over five years. But sadly, things didn't work out emotionally and like attract us, attract us that's over for it. Um, like we didn't get a feel with each other. So, and also, like I said, long distance was hard too. Like I, I'm not very good with long distance. Cause I'm like, I want to go on dates and everything and like be with someone and like be there for each other and like just like hang out and everything and do videos and like play video games and everything. We went there our separate ways and I still actually keep in contact with him or Instagram. We actually keep, we actually, I see, I think we're in good terms. I sound low, I pretty much, yeah, we're pretty much in good terms. I am who I am. I'm very proud of who I am. I've accomplished a lot in my life and I've got a lot, a lot to accomplish to really make a change in my community to like really like go out there and help people that LGBTQ kind of community to help people. I really want to like make it kind of like also like this YouTube to make a platform for this kind of like channel to actually show people that's like, it's okay to be gay around the world. Like it might have been back back in the eighties where it was kinda of like if you were gay you you literally would get you would get attacked. And like like I remember watching a documentary about um Liberace and he was very closetedly gay. Which is the opposite because I'm very openly gay. He sadly passed away from AIDS and he really inspired me for a lot of ways because he really shows like to be really careful for people. Like I, like I said, I also really want to like do piano professionally one day. I would love to really become something. But, but that, that's just my own thing. <laughs> Liberace copy. <laughs> how, how are ya? <laughs> but no, um, I know I'm going on so many tangents. Um, I think at the end of the day, being gay is okay. And you don't have to hide it. You just tell your parents, tell any of your friends, or you don't have to. It's, it's who you are. Deep down, there's nothing wrong with, from day for being with a guy. It's, it's okay. And that's pretty much it for this. Uh, you guys have a good one.